on story time, let's find out why the crocodile is in trouble. One guy, the storyteller, take it away. Trouble, trouble, trouble. There is trouble in the forest. There is trouble in the river. And do you know who is causing trouble? Well, we shall find out in today's book. And the book is Crocodile Trouble. Let's find out what trouble Crocodile is putting the animals in. Once upon a time, there was only one dam in the forest. Do you know a dam? What do you find in the dam? Yes, a dam contains water. So there was only one dam in the forest. A big and fierce crocodile lived inside the dam. All the animals feared the crocodile. They feared going to the dam. Oh, 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 we are all very thirsty. The animals told King Lion. Lion thought, oh, what shall we do? Crocodile is very big and very fierce. Now tell me, when you're faced with a problem, what do you do? Do you just sit there and cry? No. When you are faced with a problem, you need to think. All the animals in the forest knew that the hare was very, very clever. And so, the lion went to the hare and said, here, can you please think how we can get water from the dam? And the hare thought and thought and thought until he came up with a solution. He went to the king and said, I have a plan. Hmm. It is a good plan, the lion said, but be very careful. The hare went to the river. <whistles> Good morning, crocodile, he called cheerfully. The crocodile just looked at the hare. I know you are very clever, crocodile told the hare, but you will not touch my water. <laughs> Your water? <laughs> the hare laughed and laughed and laughed. So why are you laughing? What is so funny? The crocodile asked. Me? Come for water? No, I only came to measure how big your mouth is. The hare said. Yes, you see, all the animals have agreed that the animal with the longest mouth will be king. <gasps> really? Said the crocodile. Oh, come on, come on. I have the longest mouth in the animal kingdom. Come and measure mine. And the hare took a piece of rope and used it to tie the crocodile's mouth. Yes, the crocodile was tied up and now all the animals could come and drink the water. And the animals did exactly that. They came from all the sides of the forest and they took water from the dam and they drank. They were so, so happy. Well, that is the end of our story today. But I hope that the next time you have problems, you don't just sit there crying for mommy or daddy, but you use your brain and you think and you think and you think. Until the next time, bye.